Miss Mansfield, I, I know you won't think I'm rude if I say that a visit to you is rather like a visit to the Tower of London. You're both institutions. And I wonder what it feels like to belong to the public. My goodness, <laughs> I guess I feel the same way as the Tower of London feels. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it at all disagreeable to find yourself, and quite often your family, on more or less constant view? Actually, uh, I feel that a star owes it to her public to to bring the public into her life. They they feel the fans feel that they kind of own you, and if you if you kept your life a complete secret, it wouldn't be fair to them. But my private life, and when I say private life, I mean private life, is always very private. You're presented as a symbol of sex appeal. Now, I wonder if you care to define that phrase, sex appeal. Sex appeal is a wonderful, warm, womanly, healthy feeling. If you're a woman, it's womanly. If you're not, it's manly. Does it come from inside, Miss Mansfield? It comes only from inside. It is nothing that's manufactured. Manufactured. It has nothing to do with measurements or lipstick color. It, it, to me, it's cleanliness and youth and an effervescent desire to enjoy life. That's what sex appeal is to me. It's sort of a, the vibrancy that you find present in a young kitten. And lastly, a question about your career. If I'm rightly informed, when you first went to Hollywood, you went there to try for the role of Joan of Arc. Now, does this mean that you, uh, you're particularly interested in the classical roles? No, I didn't try for the part of Joan of Arc. I had been to three different universities and two or three private dramatic schools before I went to Hollywood, preparing myself for my, my, um, I, my hoped career as an actress, my hopeful career as an actress. I did a soliloquy from Joan of Arc for Milton Lewis, who was the head of casting at Paramount Studios, in order to audition. And he just seemed to think that, that I was wasting my, as he said, obvious talents. And he lightened my hair and tightened my dresses, and this is the result.